Shalom. This is GMS on the sit downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praise, his glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bashram Yahushai, Bashram Kakadash. The bonds to the elder apostle, great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there, spreading this word of society and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> Today's lesson is going to be again the word of the day. Okay, going into the word pernicious. Pernicious. Okay, and uh, lining it up with the Bible, the scriptures, and what it really means. Now, pernicious is being mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, right after uh, uh, verse 1, wherein it speaks about false teachers and false doctrines, people bring, bringing out things for their own belly's sake, okay? And they have pernicious ways. So let me go into it. Second Peter, let me start at 1. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even deny Yahweh that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Okay, so <clears throat> the Lord Jehovah spoke about this too. He said, uh, 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 Let the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. Okay, now that is what it goes into, man. Many shall follow their pernicious ways. They are leading themselves to destruction. But guess what? The, the people that be following them. Are being led towards destruction too, man. Okay? Are being led towards destruction too. And that's why from the elder apostles on down of Great Millstone, we constantly stress the fact that it is so important to teach the right doctrine. Well, people be acting all emotional and shit like, yeah, GMS only want to battle. No, we battle for the truth's sake. We, we battle because righteousness needs to be brought out the right doctrine needs to be brought out and people that are um, uh, sold out or are bringing out wrong information meanwhile they know what the truth is those people need to be pointed out man simple as that the scripture says mark them which cause division okay uh, let me see yeah, Romans, Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. You see that? So there are certain people that speak contrary to the things that we have learned, man, and the right doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, which there is only one, okay? And the elect will have it. Now, you tell me, who, who will the elect be then? Okay, will it be a small, uh, 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 the good Samaritans that's, that that uh, broke off from from Great Millstone and that be teaching all kinds of nonsense now? Okay, will it be ITR Israelites tried and, and, and refined <clears throat> that broke off from GMS Great Millstone and that now have a, a small flock uh, that follows them? Will it be uh, uh, IYC? That has that have videos of more than 144,000 views. Will it be them? I don't think so, man. Okay, 144,000 views. If they had the truth, the elect would be sealed already. But guess what? That ain't the case. Okay, that ain't the case. They be teaching lies, false doctrines. So they need to be pointed out. Now, what it means. To uh, lead people into your pernicious ways, let's let's first and foremost, like we always do, go into the interlinear. Okay, interlinear, which is the Greek in this case. It says destroying other destruction of vessels. Okay, apoleia. That's what it it goes back to the Greek word. Now, if we go to the Atom online, the et etymology, the root of the word, study of the root of the word, it says this. 
of a of a deed evil wicked having the property of destroying or being injurious okay harming someone now when you are teaching the wrong doctrine you are causing harm and affliction to someone man okay um, what is that scripture again destruction as as so uh, unto others Galatians real quick and let me meditate upon how that scripture really goes that's why Galatians chapter 1 is so serious about teaching the wrong thing if you are teaching the wrong thing you have you have pernicious ways man okay ways that lead to destruction so it says <clears throat> having the property of destroying or being injurious directly from Latin Pernicious, perniciosus, destructive, destruction, that ruin, the ruin of someone's salvation, man, you're ruining someone's salvation, okay, <clears throat> and it's a compound word, uh, per, let's look up the word per, because if you look up this word, then you can often, uh, they can often find, um, how can you say that? You often find um, different words that are similar to it, okay? So, per means true. True by means of earlier Latin, French phrases in the letter, often par, from par, true, during. By means of, on account of. Okay. <clears throat> and then, uh, on account, so it says, on account of. And then, nasis is violent, death, murder, related to nekare, to kill. Nosere, to hurt, injure harm okay so the point is pretty clear man you causing harm to a person and you can't causing harm to your towards yourself okay so the scripture says this galatians 1 and 8 but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed so it's a curse unto you man you will be cursed if you preach another doctrine man so you should take this very serious it's not a light thing to just teach something else and then you have israelites out there that says the elect that say the elect will consist of multiple doctrines that's not true man that's not true you will be a curse man and wh whosoever you lead away in that doctrine of yours will be accursed also because he uh, attaches himself to your doctrine which leads to destruction okay so your pernicious ways uh, um, mean that you are able to cause harm upon someone by leading them into the ways of destruction man oh i already know what scripture that was rest uh, i think that's uh second peters yeah the end of second peters this is it uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 16 as also this is concerning the letters of Paul let me start at 15 2 Peter 3 and 15 and the account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul also according to wisdom give it, give it unto him it's like he had written unto you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of things in which are some things hard to be understood. And that's true, man. Even up to this day, we read letters of Paul 
and some people struggle to understand it okay some people really struggle to understand the letters of Paul he was a learned man okay you you can already get twisted up so bad by the book of Acts and the book of Romans man let alone the book of Hebrews which is next level okay which is next level man if you read the things of the book of Hebrews you man your brain gets gets twisted up can get twisted up man but guess what if the most High has given you the wisdom knowledge and understanding you will get it man <clears throat> if you get taught the right way so the apostle Paul his letters and his epistles are not that easy to be understood so in these days wherein we are right now you got you got people bugging out and saying this is not the word of the Lord did not did not did not the apostle Paul communicate with the Lord Jehovah in the spirit did not the Lord Jehovah come unto the apostle Paul and gave him ways and does not the scripture say that you know the things that the apostle Paul says are to be seen as commandments because they come from the Lord okay now people want to say yeah it's not the word of the Lord for example where it says that you that even nature itself shows you that you should not have long hair people want to battle against that Sikari okay to, to not to uh, that you ought not to cover your head okay Sikari and multiple other camps okay denying the word of the Lord and in those ways leading away other people man that uh, lack understanding but look at you and be like hey he must have the truth okay now that's why it says also in the book of james i'm not done with the scripture but that's why it also says in the book of james chapter 3 verse 1 my brethren be not many masters knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation so if you put yourself in the position of being a master or being a teacher whatever being a head of a church if you go off man you you receive the greater condemnation man you will receive the greater condemnation because you have control over the uh, salvation of others man okay you have control over the salvation of others that's why it also speaks um, in the scriptures i don't i don't really know how it, uh, how the scripture goes again um, but it says like um, the, that the church is in your hands man roughly paraphrasing the church is in your hands something to that effect you have been given charge over the church. Let's see if I can find it. Charge. <clears throat> yeah, Salakia. I can't find it right now. I can't find it right now, but um Oh, is these these people So like yeah, so called VIP person is coming by, so freaking whole police force is blocking the road for this one person. Which is who? Esau Eden man. Having having a fucking patrol of the government for one person, man. For one freaking person. Let's see if I can show you. See that? Anyway. Let me get back to the scriptures. Okay, but obviously I have to watch out right now <laughs> so yeah man be not many masses man when, whenever you teach something that is not right you will you will get the greater condemnation man because you don't only edify yourself in wickedness but also the people that listen to you man teaching wrong uh, wrong doctrine ain't no light thing so to go back to the point 
2 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 and many shall follow their pernicious ways so this is already prophesied that the blind lead the blind Yahushua said that both shall fall into a ditch what does that ditch represent? destruction man they are both gonna fall into destruction perdition and <clears throat> what you often see is that the whole congregation consists of, of females <laughs> and the scripture also says, says that okay leading away silly women um, <clears throat> forever learning let me see what scripture was that again I thought it was Titus um, damn I thought it was oh yeah it was I think it's chapter 10 yeah Titus chapter 1 verse 10 for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially the day of the circumcision whose mouths must be stopped who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not ought not for filthy lucre's sake you see they teach things which they ought not man why because they heap unto themselves destruction unto the people that listen to them destruction and cause the blood to be upon their own hands man the blood of the people okay <clears throat> the blood of the people is upon their hands man so it ain't no light thing. Uh, let me see. Verse 12. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Christians are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. And that's what we do, man. We do the same thing. We rebuke these people sharply that are coming out with these strange doctrines and strange teachings. That are not of the Heavenly Father. That are not of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because what they really are doing is. They causing destructive ways man. That whole doctrine. For example. Yeah you can't get jabbed up. Hey we counter that shit man. We slip the punch. Okay. Body shot. Uppercut. Hook. And knock him out man. With that bullshit. But with, with the words of truth. Because that, that ain't of the truth man. Oh yeah you can't just get jabbed up man. It ain't no big deal. You're a demon, man. And I'm talking about Johanna right now. You're a demon, man. Nobody ever hears of you. The moment this shit needs to be announced, you open your goddamn mouth. Yeah, man. Goddamn mouth. Your mouth is damned. Okay? Let him be a curse that teaches false doctrines. And if he, if you see his mentality is like this concerning that jab... <laughs> He will have the same mentality concerning the MOTB, man. Hey, just take it, man. Ain't no big deal. That ain't the that ain't that ain't the MOTB. That ain't the, that chip ain't no the. He he already been mocking, laying a potato chip on, on his hand. Look, I got the chip. Listen, man, you will be damned, and all those people that follow you will be damned too because of your pernicious ways. So you heap unto yourself. Mad punishment, man. Mad punishment because the blood will be upon your hands, like it says, uh, Ezekiel 33. Last scripture, Ezekiel 33. Um, Ezekiel 33 and 7. So, thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them for, from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his ways, that the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. If you don't say him, if you don't tell him, man. Okay? That's if you don't tell him. Now here, this, these people, these Israelites that call themselves priests, apostles, high priests, uh, deacons, generals. Those people, man, listen. They're not only telling you. Uh, they are not only uh, uh, blocking you from the truth, they are subverting the truth, man. Subverting the truth. 
real quick subvert subvert i can also say and look it up yourself but let me just do this subvert to overthrow or destroy this is what they do man the truth they just subvert the truth so they destroy the truth to undermine overturn with what false doctrines or render ineffective because those people don't receive it to undermine misled or betray that's what they be doing man that's what they be doing Yahweh Bashim Yashai got the swift destruction for them man swift as a matter of fact Yahweh Bashim Yashai has a special destruction for those type of people man because it says he will choose your greatest fears bring it upon you man so what you fear the most by that you will be destroyed so with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Shalom to the elect.